life as an inspiration. And I would like for our audience to know from you, uh, what would you say to people who stop at the door and don't go through it? That door is closed for a billion reasons. And maybe none of those reasons have anything to do with you. But if you don't keep trying, you lost right there. That's it. You'll spend the rest of your life wondering, what if, what if, what if? I would rather try, to me, it's the journey. It's, you know, it's the kid who wants to be a football player and maybe they make it to college. Maybe they make it to the pros, but maybe they never make it to the Super Bowl. That doesn't mean they weren't a great football player. They had this career, this life. And I think that those doors and those obstacles force us to do more work, force us to figure out where's that window? What's my other way in? And I do believe, I'm a student of history, and I believe that history has shown if somebody gave up, if all of a sudden Einstein got to E equals and it was like, nope, I'm stumped, I'm walking away. If all of a sudden all the great scientists and doctors and thinkers of the world, the greatest artists, if all of a sudden Mick Jagger got halfway through a song and was like, I can't figure this out, I'm gone. It's, of course it's hard, it's challenging. Uh, and I, I just encourage everybody, whatever is in front of them, that door, doesn't have to stay locked. And there are so many ways to go around and find your way in.